Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and as you can tell, that today we are going to talk about uh, our moringa plants. So, if you've seen uh, my previous video on moringa, we had uh, grown moringa from seeds, and we had planted in these when they were like three to four inches tall. And now look at this. This one is like three feet tall, and this is probably one and a half or two feet tall. So it's already beginning of October and uh, you know now the winters are going to come and Moringa doesn't like cold weather. So I just want to make sure that they have enough nutrition here, they have enough soil in it and they are warm because for next four months I'm not going to touch them. I'm just going to keep them uh, somewhere warm uh, and uh, humid. Also, uh, I noticed that uh, when I water this tall uh, Moringa plant, the water just runs out. It does not uh, hold into the planter. So I want to see what's happening. We already loosened up uh, this one a little bit. So I'm going to Look at this so it doesn't look pot bound or anything if we look at the roots of this plant you know I had uh, I mean one problem that I was seeing in the plant was that every time I used to water it the water used to just run out uh, the planter will not hold any water and uh, so that was worrying me you know why that is happening I thought it is root bound so it has a lot of roots, but it's not like root bound. It's like good healthy growth. And uh, probably this uh, mixture of soil in this is not holding any water. You know, I kept it in a water tray and still, you know, on the top it is all dry, uh, though at the bottom it is wet. So what we are going to do now is that uh, now we have removed these thermocol pieces and there was a big stone for some reason inside. Uh, so it has more space and on top also it had some space. So we have room for more soil. So I'm going to add some cocoa peat uh, to the compost uh, and uh, put it in. So that way uh, it will hold a little more uh, moisture in. So uh, we have mixed up uh, this soil, it has uh, perlite so that the water doesn't log in this and it has cocoa peat so that a little bit more moisture gets retained because you know this is very dry so we want some uh, moisture to be retained in there and then there are uh, composted leaves in there which, have, which are very rich in um, micro and macro nutrients you know, the minerals and nitrogen carbon oxygen okay so now i have filled it up so i'm going to now pick it up and put it back in okay so now I need to just fill it up on the side. So I think this is good. So that's it. I'm going to just water it and uh, then going to keep it in a shaded area because we've done some work on it and it may have gotten a little shock some of the roots got broken but that's fine it had good root system so if a little bit of it is broken that should be okay but now it is good all through winters you know that's the most important thing that for next four or five months we don't want to touch this moringa doesn't like cold climate so we don't want to touch it whatever uh, it is we'll just leave it uh, as it is we are going to put this plant in this greenhouse tent so that it stays warm 
inside otherwise uh, it's difficult for moringa to uh, bear colder temperatures so i hope this uh, video was informative to you and it was also an update to my previous uh, moringa uh, video that you know uh, look at this you know how tall it has grown taller than me you know from here to here it's uh, grown really big um, so if if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye